What's up, Connor? Hi, I'm Roy, and welcome to Roy Talk, KTIG's brand new talk show. Totally not a ripoff of Real Talk. Okay, in today's show, we will be talking with some of our state qualifiers from uh, Skills USA 2022. So, stay tuned for today's edition of Roy Talk. Once again, we would like to welcome our special guests to today's show. Uh, let's start by welcoming some of our uh, culinary state qualifiers. Uh, I'm Jonathan Garcia. I'm a senior right now, and I competed in the culinary arts part of Skills USA, and I placed second. Okay. Okay. My name is Alexis Pong. I'm a, also a senior at, this year, and I did commercial baking, and I placed first place. Wow. Okay. First. So we have a first place winner and a second place placer. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. First, first of all, before any other question, guys, how was the Beaumont trip? Because, you know, I had fun. Did you guys have fun too? It was a blast. I had an absolute blast. It Obviously, was really it was like fun. I had a bunch of fun with the people who were actually in this room right now, a bunch of people who actually went as skills you say also, and bonds that I didn't think I'd make. It was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It made new friends. Any uh, like any funny moments you'd, you'd like to share? Uh, yes, it was around night. We just we just finished our competition. All the whole time I was there, I was thinking I want to go into the pool. <laughs> the pool was my goal the entire time, and we jumped into the pool around a lot. And it was freezing. It was fun. It was, freezing. It was really fun. All right, jumping into a pool is always always fun. Um, can you guys explain exactly what you did like during the competition? Like, explain it to me step by step. What What did you do? What did you do to make sure that you did not fail? Obviously, we stayed after school or whenever we had our culinary class. We practiced every single day, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We stayed after school until 4 p.m. just to make sure we got all the practice we need to make sure we made it to state, which we did. All right. Well. Uh, I know that you guys were like uh, in kind of different competition areas. So what what was different like with with your competition versus his? It was definitely more of like if you mess up one thing, like you can't really recover from it. So it was making sure that what we make was very consistent and that you didn't mess up, you didn't overmix or anything, because there's no going back when it, once you do. So we definitely had to practice consistency and just like also cleanliness is also a very big part of baking because you can easily just make a mess on the table. But that was a big part of it. They just wanted us to stay clean, which is also what put, uh, showed who was better in the competition. Mm, so I was like, you know, arguably your competition was a, a lot harder. Than <laughs> And you still play second. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, John, what, what made you want to compete in the first place? Uh, it's just I've always enjoyed cooking, and I'm actually thinking, hey, making this a career, becoming a professional chef, or just cooking for a job. And I just want to be able to take my own skill level into like a higher range to get closer to my goal. All right. Well, it was great hearing what you guys had to say. Um, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll be talking with ECET and their skills competition. I was that guy. Ugh, look at his ugly face. Why are those guys staring at me again? It's such a jerk in class. I wonder if I just bump into him right now. God, I didn't punch him. That would have been really, really bad, man. Welcome back, everyone. Let's start by welcoming our state qualifiers from ECET. All right, guys. Um, can you guys just, like introduce yourselves, name, grade? Hi, I'm Jemiah. I'm in senior year, so 12th grade. 
Hi, my name is Adela Nunez and I'm a junior. And hi, my name is Elsa Gutierrez and I am a senior. And we all competed for the promotional bulletin board and we got first place. Oh, first place. All right, we got some we got some real talented people over here. So, tell me guys exactly what you did like for for your competition, like um, what you guys do. So we had to like create this bulletin board that displayed all the like pathways and such, and we had to make a design for it. You know, deal with that kind of stuff. So it's yeah. like a like a flow chart almost. Um, it's more like um, like a board. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but we did the design and we printed it out and we had to do a presentation mm -hmm. so oh. that um, like they would know what everything represented that we put on the board. So, so since you guys worked as a team, um, well, what were you guys' like roles on the team, like main roles, starting with? Um, I worked on like the behind the scenes stuff, like the design on the computer programming and the measurements, copyright management, things like that. You know, I just did like the design of the board itself. I helped choose images for the board as well as put together the required notebook. And I kind of um, worked on the idea development and like the initial design, like what we wanted to do and um, create like the message that we wanted to convey through everything. Yeah. Okay, um, so were you guys like nervous at all like oh very <laughs> yes yeah. well what, what did you guys do to like make sure like did you, did you practice did you did you like study up to to make sure that you guys like had a good chance of winning we practiced our speech for pretty much the entire waiting period before we actually went in there mm -hmm. So it was still fresh in our brains, but we did practice that entire like what hour, hour and a half entire period. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what what made you guys decide that you want to be part of the Skills USA competition? Because not not everybody wants to be like part of a really big competition, you know. What made you decide? Um, well, our teacher she introduced us to the idea because she had never done this before. She had never really participated in Skills USA. She had done Taffy before. So since this was her first year, she just introduced the idea to us and she kind of encouraged us to, let's just try it for fun, you know, let's not stress about it, even though we ended up really stressed about it. But um, she just encouraged us all the way and she helped us. So I guess mainly the reason that we did it is because of Ms. Lake and our teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Once again, it was great hearing what you all had to share. Um, we are, we're going to take one more quick break. When we come back, we will be talking with the architecture students. Are you interested in being a Conroe cheerleader or mascot? There will be a mandatory tryout meetings for both athlete and guardian to attend. Meetings will be February 22nd and 23rd at 6.30 in the LGI. You must attend one of these meetings in order to try out. We hope to see you there. For Black History Month, we'd like to honor the black activists that strive to make a change for future generations. Today, we would like to honor Garrett Morgan. Garrett Augustus Morgan Sir was a businessman and African-American inventor who was most known for his famous invention of the three-position traffic signal, which we still use today. Garrett was also a community leader. He was born on March 4, 1877 in Paris, Kentucky. As Morgan got older, he started to develop glaucoma in 1943, losing most of his sight as a result. The successful inventor died in Cleveland, Ohio on July 27, 1963, right before the celebration of the Emancipation Proclamation Centennial, an event he had been waiting for. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Conroe Sports Medicine staff for the 2022 to 2023 school year, please stop by and pick up applications from the athletic training room. All applications are due back Friday, March 11th. Our Spanish club meeting has moved to next Wednesday, February 23rd at 3 p.m. in room 2025. Love to dance? Want to be a golden girl? Trial packets are now available in the front office and you can apply online at www.chsgoldengirls.com. There's a mandatory tryout meeting March 1st at 6.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. You and your parent or guardian must be present at this meeting in order to try out. The Conroe Jazz Band is looking for wind and rhythm players for the 2022 to 2023 school year. We are looking for groovy swinging cats. Everybody will be considered no matter your musical background. QR codes are posted throughout the school. Be sure to scan them to access the interest form. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Hernandez located in the band halls. Congratulations to the JV Girls track team on an amazing showing at Summer Creek High School on Wednesday night. 
The girls competed at a high level, highlighted by a bronze by Genesis Hudspeth, a long jump, a bronze by Cameron Malden in discus, a silver in the 800 meter by Kennedy Pickle, a bronze in the 100 meter by Bree Chapman, a bronze in both the 1600 meter relay and the 400 meter relay, and a silver in the 800 meter relay. Great job, ladies. Keep up the hard work. This week's College of the Week is Langston University. Langston University is an HBCU located in Oklahoma. It is actually the only HBCU located in Oklahoma. This university has graduate programs in physical therapy and nursing, as well as a hospitality program, management program with an athletic program and many student organizations. Langstrom University has something for everyone. To close out today's show, let us introduce our architecture qualifying students and get into some questions. All right, um, introduce yourselves, like just say your name and stuff. <laughs> My name is Fernanda and our competition <laughs> was career promotional demonstration and yeah. Oh, my name's Jennifer, I'm a sophomore and I was part of her group in career demonstration. My name is Bianca and all three of us were part of the career promotion demonstration and I have my own project, my own individual project. Okay, can you tell me what the, what the project was about? So I do interior design. So we had to design a house and decorate a few rooms. Like majority it was, was for the structure of the inside of the house. So that's the different competition I was doing. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So tell me guys exactly what you did, like as a group. Whoa, what, what was your competition about? What did you guys do? Our goal was to promote architecture in a presentation that we showed to the judges. And we did it like as a group. Yeah, so like we started off like from high school, like what classes you can get into and then what colleges you can get into and from there like what colleges uh, show you what skills and what all the colleges do too. We also did um, a slide where it shows our high school chapter right now as a team and what we did to do to improve each other's projects and to work together. So were you guys like confident in making it to state? Did you like make this thing and went like, wow, we are going to win? <laughs> so we didn't know we made it to state till later on in the day. And we found out that our whole team was going to state other than us, well, them two, because they didn't design a house. So our competition for them to go to state was nerve wracking. Yeah. Uh. Because if we didn't make first or second, then we would have lose two great people to go to state with. Wait, well, what did you guys make? I forgot to ask. First or second? We made first. Oh, wow. Okay. We got some real talented <laughs> people in the house. Oh, my God. Okay. So, are you guys, are you guys ready for state? Or do you guys think you're, you're like ready enough to just go and be like, make it? Somewhat, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Presentation-wise, we still have a little nerves in us, but I feel like we'll do great. So what will you guys be doing like to prepare for state? Going over our slides again. Yeah, yeah and we'll definitely try to present in front of more people to get more of the nerves out. Yeah, because like, to start off, we like, presented in front of the rest of the guys that we went to competition with, but we might try like in front of one of our classes or just try something like a bigger scale audience. Oh, well, that is all the time we have for Real Talk. To all our guests, thanks so much for uh, taking the time to talk with us about Skills USA. Make sure to stay tuned next week for another episode of Real Talk. Also, don't forget CHS. Be the reason someone smiles today. <laughs>